Hey Gemini, welcome to your general love reading for the first half of October 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Gemini. And it is general, so not everybody's situation. That's perfectly okay. You can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can look a personal reading with me. All the information is in the description box. And let's see. Gemini, we have listening as the overall energy here. Okay, so of course this would mean that, you know, listening is a major theme for you in October. So it could be that you feel like maybe um, there has not been much listening or much understanding um, in communication or maybe just not even much communication at all. And I feel like listening, right, somebody really needs to listen here to the other person. So let's get into this and see what this is about. Keep in mind the roles can be reversed regardless of whether you are watching for yourself or cross-watching for somebody else. The Gemini, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, first half of October. Gemini, let's see. That is Nanix, of course. Trying to destroy things. All right, for the recent past, we have the Page of Wands. All right, so it feels like recently, you know, maybe there was some communication that maybe was um, a little bit fiery. I normally wouldn't exactly say that for the Page of Wands, but this is what is um, coming through. We'll see. I might actually clarify that. Let's see for your energy. We have the page of pentacles and the king of wands. All right. Yeah. So another page showing up here. Um, and again, fiery, <laughs> fiery energy. Um, so yeah, I definitely feel like there has been, if you have been in communication, there's been some fiery type of communication here um, between the two of you. Um, possibly even, you know, somebody trying to maybe um, control the conversation or we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to get ahead of myself. For them, we have the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. This person here is um, juggling a little bit trying to find their balance between possibly multiple energies. Having a little bit of a hard time, um, especially when it comes to something that is um, in their life or finding stability. Let's see what is coming up for you. We have the Six of Swords and for them we have the Empress. Um, just another thing I'm getting here is that this person, when it comes to how they, they feel about you, they're with this four of wands, they're feeling like, you know, this is where they belong, this is where they want to be, they feel like, you know, there is this um, deep connection here with you. But again, it's it's like having a hard time fully managing it, it's almost like they feel like there's some kind of an overload. Um, so for, for the near future energy, I feel like you're trying to bring things to a calmer state or you're you're just in this process even now as we speak of moving towards a direction of um, peace, bringing peace basically. And for them, I mean, again, with the Empress here, I feel like it's like this person is, is on board with you, wanting to create with you, wanting to um, fully make this work. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the hanging man. All right, so it might be taking a little bit of time or possibly even, especially when we have this um, listening card here, this hanging man can talk about um, having to see things from a new perspective or having to really take a step back. Not necessarily from the connection, but having to just take a step back, each of you from your own expectations in order to be able to fully listen to the other. So let's clarify. If you're not in contact and if there is no communication, um, maybe this isn't your reading, but it could also this could be on an energetic um, level. 
Well, let's actually clarify listening. Okay, wait, that was way too many, but let's see if there's anything else. All right, cards are really acting up today. Um, actually, not today for your reading here. <laughs> and especially for this listening. So I feel like there has been a lot of turbulence um, when it comes to fully understanding. So this listening could be even on an energetic level, like to, when, when it comes to fully being able to even read between the lines for what might be going on with your person, all right? Whether, um, whether there's minimal contact, whether this is just you um, picking up on their vibes or you know things that you might be seeing on social media. Um, because clarifying, we have the the Eight of Swords, <laughs> look at this, the Ten of Swords, and the Two of Swords, all swords. So somebody is really in their head here, and why do I almost feel like, like it could be you? Um, but again, roles can be reversed regardless, all right? Um, but this is the situation here, so I feel like, yeah, um, effective communication has been blocked, and because of that, there are some misunderstandings or there's been a misunderstanding. Um, it's like the two of you are just not understanding each other and because of that, there's a lot of pain even to the extent where it might feel like this is done or like we can't do this and just feeling a sense of defeat. Like we just cannot um, agree or you know um, find a, a resolution. Let me clarify this page of wands in the recent past. Queen of Wands. So we do have quite a bit of wands, so some of you might be dealing with um, a fire sign, um, could even be dealing with another air sign because we do have all those swords, although that could be you. And the star. Okay, so here's the thing. There is motivation here. It's not that you guys don't want this. Um, I feel like the both of you want want this to work, you do want to come to some kind of a consensus here. Um, but yeah, I feel like... Let's see. Um, definitely the wish, is, the wish was there, all right? Um, and I do feel like in the past, you know, there was some pretty good communication here between the two of you at some point, but I feel like it got a little bit... Um, it got a little bit fiery intense like almost like um emotions being a little bit out of control possibly some triggers maybe triggering things were said or maybe triggering things happened let's see that page of pentacles for you all right we have strength so that's Leo energy showing up, the Seven of Pentacles, and Judgment. All right, so there's a lot that you're learning here through this, all right? Whatever it is that is happening between the two of you, I feel like there are major lessons, especially concerning um, not only your strength, but also like compassion, like fully being able to understand and see through what it is that is happening or what is, and not only for, for the other person here, but even for your own self, all right? This is a lot about... Um, self-awareness so I feel like things that have been happening and the way that you know maybe you are putting forth energy it's teaching something about your own self and if you guys can hear that that is um, Mannix <clears throat> I also feel like you were like you're trying to take a very practical approach here when it comes to this person and you're you are putting in this effort to have some compassion and to because even having compassion that is related to strength it does take strength um, in order to be able to have compassion but what it takes most of all is to be able to actually have compassion for your own self first so that you can then also show that compassion to another person so this could be part of the lesson that you are you are learning here. And, you know, 
it doesn't matter what this person may have done. You know, when it comes to compassion, it's okay. You know, understanding that everybody has their own journey. Um, you know, even if the other person is making mistakes, you know, that's their, that's, those are their lessons to learn. And we can still have compassion. It doesn't mean we need to accept bad behavior or bad treatment. But we can still have compassion and then at the same time, you know, still decide for our own selves how we want to be treated. And most importantly, how are we treating ourselves? So I don't know why all of this came through, but it did. Let me see that King of Wands. All right, we have the Seven of Swords and the World. So I feel like, you know, there might have been sometimes, and this might also be something that you are learning or um, discovering about yourself, is that there may have been times where, you know, you say something that you don't really mean or that even if you're just saying it to yourself, not necessarily to the other person. Um, like, for example, being very, um, what's the word? Like, obsolete. Like, 100% sure, you know, that I am done with this and, you know, that's it. Like, I'm never going back. And then that not fully being true. Um, that Seven of Swords, like, it can be a little bit deceptive here. So... When that happens, yeah, it, you know, it can create actually more conflict <clears throat> in the connection. Um, however, like I said, I feel like this is something though that you are learning and that this is something that you are actually ending. All right, wanting to end whatever kind of, whatever is dishonest, whatever isn't really true, you know, I feel like you are beginning to um, kind of Put an end to that or close that that out i also feel like you're trying to um close out an energy of wanting to be in control or wanting to control but even you know when it comes to um, a conversation or just the situation overall or what it is that is happening you can only have control over your own um your own behaviors basically your own attitude your own behaviors I would say your own life, but that's not always the case because sometimes things can happen. Um, and we don't necessarily always have control over things that can happen. So let's see for them. Let's see this Two of Pentacles. All right, so we have the King of Wands, the Moon, and the Knight of Swords. And I'm so sorry about that noise that, give me one sec, because he's going to, nope, he's in, he's in play mode. <laughs> All right, so King of, King of Wands, the Moon, and the Knight of Swords, clarifying the Two of Pentacles. I almost feel like they're kind of doing the same thing, but just in a different way. Um, it's like this person is having a really hard time dealing with their own self. I feel like things might be triggered for them. Um, things from the past are being triggered for them and I feel like it's kind of causing them to maybe act a little bit reckless or um, they feel like they just don't have much control over what is going on. That's so, so they might be trying to gain control, but in a different way than what you were here. It's almost like this person isn't really sure about what it is that they are actually doing, like how it is that they are handling the situation. It's almost like they're in this like, What's coming through is like autopilot, like letting their subconscious just kind of um, guide them rather than bringing those subconscious um, feelings, emotions, thoughts, whatever, to to their consciousness to like make conscious decisions. I feel like they're kind of just, they, they're feeling so overwhelmed that they're just kind of um, allowing the ball to roll and they're just kind of going with it in whatever way. I do, I do see that shifting though here. All right, with that Empress coming up. So let me see this Four of Wands. <clears throat> this person is also wanting to... I 
feel like they want to take charge of this, of this, um, whatever it is that is happening between the two of you, but they just don't know how. And that's why they're just kind of going with it. And I feel like they respond like very impulsively again, because they are triggered. And even though they do want to resolve this again, it's like, they don't know how it's almost like they're so overwhelmed that they, they just respond impulsively. Um, okay, so clarifying the Four of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands. So yeah, because of that, this person, even though they're feeling like, yes, you know, like, this is something that I that I want, like, I feel this connection with you, and I know that that possibility is there, right? This door is open, like, I can, I can just walk through it. But it's like they're blocking that out. It's like they're being, they, they have their guard up. There's like some kind of a defense mechanism because of this tension that is happening between the two of you. All right, so very specific reading. I feel like, you know, it's um, definitely not going to be for everybody watching this. Let's see. Um, let's clarify that six of swords for what is coming up for you. Page of Wands showing up again, and the Page of Pentacles, all these pages, pages, pages for you. Um, all right, Gemini, so I feel like, again, you know, I feel like the message here is for you also to, you know, fully try to listen to this person. This person might be having a hard time communicating. This person might be having a hard time expressing themselves. So I feel like, you know, like they're not doing it deliberately. I feel like you're being called to just fully read between the lines here. And normally, you know, like I wouldn't say this, you know, you're not obligated to. Right. But for whatever reason. Um, yeah, that's that's just what I'm getting here, that that is what is going to help take things to a more peaceful state is to just, you know, really listen or give this this person um, some space to listen. Again, roles can be reversed. I do see you, I do see you doing that. Um, and interesting how if you see this page of wands here, um, the way he has his hand like up to his ear, like he's trying to listen. So I feel like that is um, going to be key for you here. And that might actually, it might not even be for the connection, okay, for some of you, but fully listening, even to your own self, to your higher self, right, to your intuition, whatever. That is helping you to move on to this new path of things just being calmer and more peaceful for you. That is helping you to leave conflict behind, regardless. Let's see the Empress for them. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the, the Knight of Wands and the Tower. All right, so finally there is some um, understanding here. There is some clarity that is coming in here with this Queen of Wands. So I feel like for them, right? They, again, this is them wanting to wanting to create, feeling. Um, even feeling, wanting to feel this pleasure with you, all right? That is what is coming up here. I, again, I see this person having drive. I really feel like this is somebody who does want this. It's just that at the moment, they're feeling a little bit out of control. They're feeling, um, or they're being a little bit impulsive in their reactions. But I see them moving towards a much more like mature type of an energy here. And at the same time, you know, there being some clarity, but we do have this tower. I'm not ignoring the tower. Um, I actually don't see this tower in a negative, in a negative light. All right. With everything else that it is combined here. I feel like this is just a huge shift. Like this is the tower actually coming down to the way that things used to be to this, um, like aggressive or tension or impulsivity and stepping more into this empress type of an energy of, you know, being nurturing, being, being compassionate, wanting to create. So it's kind of like, it's a whole new way of being. And usually, you know, this does 
take time. This is something that will take time. It, you can't just rebuild a tower overnight. So I feel like that's why we also have this hanging man as the um, potential outcome here. So let me clarify that. All right, and we have the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so <clears throat> I feel like this is... Um, this is emotional communication, romance, love coming back into the picture here. But at the same time, there is still there are still things that need to be resolved. There are still things that need to be released. Um, and again, this, this is why we have the hanging man, right? It's all about seeing things from a new perspective and taking that time in order to fully process, you know, what it is that is new, what it is that needs to be released and how can things be done differently in order to have this um, more like lighthearted and loving communi communication or connection. What is it that needs to be released? And I do, I do feel like it is being released, but it's taking, it's just happening, you know, gradually, like step by step. All right, Gemini. If this resonated, let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have the full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. And yeah, you know, I feel like that's actually in line with what I was saying about reading between the lines. You know, don't just um, don't just focus on what is coming through at the surface, right? The impulsive reactions that could be trigger based. Um, or trigger driven, all right? Look at the bigger picture. Listen, again, not just specifically to the other person you are involved with here, all right? Depends on your situation. Just listen. So, Gemini, those were the messages um, for you. I hope this resonated and much love.